you are welcome back to my channel we have an amazing math question to solve in this question we are asked to find the area of this shaded portion okay now we need to figure out how we how we should go about it because from here to here is 12 and that is the only information given to us so this means that the radius of this circle is what 12 now how do we get the area of this shaded portion now first permit me to join o to this point okay using a straight line now let's call this point d now let me explain what i want to do remember that we are asked to find the area of this shaded portion now you can see that a o d is a sector right a o d is a sector of a circle it is a sector then o b d is an angle o d c is an angle but we're interested in o c d or o d c so o c d is a triangle just sit put and you understand what i'm trying to do so how do we now get the area of this shaded portion the area of the shaded portion a is equal to area of this sector that is area of sector a o d so area of a o d minus area of this particular angle o c d o c d minus this portion and this portion is a quadrant of a circle right minus this portion now if we call this meeting point p so it's going to be minus a c p a c p now if you look at what we have here you can see that for us to get the area of this sector we need to have the angle here this angle here is very important because area of a sector is theta over 360 times pi r root squared and we already know the radius of this circle which is 12 okay then the sector itself the only thing that is preventing us from getting the area is theta so we need this angle here but we cannot get it yet we can't let us first of all get the necessary information we need that will help us to get the angle theta all right now from here to here is six from here to here is six because the whole of this is also the radius of this circle so since here to here is 12 from here to here is 12 as well so co should be six and ac should be six that is the first information now the second information od is 12 yes because od is also the radius of this particular circle okay so if this is 12 then od is 12 because it's also the radius of a circle so if we look at this particular line now you can see that to get cd we can use um we can use the pythagorean theorem okay yes so let us draw triangle ocd so in triangle ocd all right using pythagorean theorem using pythagorean theorem you can see that this is our hypotenuse right 12 so 12 squared should be equal to 6 squared plus cd squared 6 squared plus cd squared so if we transfer this to this we have 12 squared minus 6 squared is equal to cd squared all right remember that when you have a squared minus b squared that is equal to a minus b multiplied by a plus b so we can write this as 12 minus 6 multiplied by 12 plus 6 is equal to cd squared so 12 minus 6 is 6 and 12 plus 6 is 18 is equal to c d squared 
Now let us solve this. If we do that, we have 6 times 8 is 48. So write 8 and carry 4. 6 times 1 is 6 plus 4 is 10. So we have 108, okay? Is equal to CD squared. All right. So we take square root of both sides. So square root of 108 is equal to square root of CD squared. So this we cancel. Square root of 108, if we should, um, if we should simplify 108, okay? 2, we divide this to give us 54. 2, we divide this to give us 27. 3, we divide to give us 9. 3, we divide to give us 3. 3, we divide to give us 1. Because we are talking of, of square roots, we group in 2s, right? This and this, this and this, this will remain. Now, 2 times 2 is 4. 3 times 3 is 9. So it means that 4 times 9, which is 36 times 3, we'll simplify this. So we can write this as square root of 36 multiplied by 3. Okay? Is equal to CD. So this same thing as square root of 36 multiplied by square root of 3 is equal to CD. Now square root of 36 is 6. So we have 6 root 3 is equal to CD. So we can write CD from here to here to be what? 6 root 3. All right. Now with this, we can actually get the theta here. Yes, we can. Now let us get the theta here. To get the theta, let me clean part of the board first. If this is the first time you are seeing us, Please click the subscription button, turn your notification bell so that you don't miss our videos, okay? Give us a thumbs up if you're actually enjoying this video. And if this is the first time you're coming here, you're highly welcome. All right. Now, let's go ahead. Remember that if we have, if we say tan theta, let's call this theta, okay? It should be what? Opposite, which is 6 root 3. Over adjacent, I'm talking of this particular triangle, triangle OCD, okay? Tan theta is 6 root 3 over the adjacent, which is 6. So this will give us what? Root 3. So it means that tan theta is equal to root 3. Now, what is root 3? Can what is give us root 3? You can see that theta is 60 degrees, okay? So we can write 60 degrees here. 60 degrees now at this point we can get the area of this portion how just like i explained let's go ahead and get the area asap okay this is interesting right yeah now let's do that remember that the area a is equal to area of a o d right a o d minus OCD, OCD minus ACP, ACP, the areas of this portion. So this is equal to AOD is a sector. An area of a sector is theta over 360 times pi r squared, pi r squared. That is it for this minus now OCD. OCD is a triangle, and area of a triangle is half base times height. So half multiplied by the base is CD, which is six root three, multiplied by the height is six. So that is it for OCD minus now ACP. ACP is a quadrant of a circle. So area of a circle is pi r squared. And because ACP is a quadrant, it's going to be 1 over 4 multiplied by pi r squared. So we have 1 over 4 multiplied by pi r squared. Now it's time to fix the information here. This is equal to our theta is 60 over 360 multiplied by pi multiplied by our radius. The radius is what? 12, 12 squared. All right, minus, this we divide this to give us 3. 3 
6 root 3 multiplied by 3, okay, minus, here we have 1 over 4 multiplied by pi multiplied by, now the radius of this quadrant is what, 6, you can see that, multiplied by 6 squared. Now we go ahead and solve. This is equal to, this will divide itself, we we'll divide this to give us 6. So we can write this as 1 over 6 multiplied by pi multiplied by 12 squared is 144. Okay, then minus 6 times 3 is 18 root 3. Minus 1 over 4 multiplied by pi multiplied by now, 6 squared is 36. So, we're going to take our time slowly so that we don't make mistake anyway. Okay? Now, 6 divided itself. When we divide 14, we have 2, 2, remainder 2. If we divide 24, we have 4. Right? Yeah, 6 times 4 is 24. Yeah. So, here we have 24 pi minus 18 root 3. Minus 4, we divide 36 to give us 9. Minus 9 pi. So this is equal to 24 pi minus 9 pi. We give us 15 pi. Hope I'm correct. Yeah, should be 15 pi. So we have 15 pi minus 18 root 3. So I think this is easier for us to press now using our calculator. Okay. Hope you're enjoying this lesson. So we have... 15 pi, 15 pi, where is my pi? Okay, so 15 times pi, I don't know what is wrong with this. So we have 47.12 approximately minus 18 root 3. 18 root 3, 31.18. So the final answer should be 47.12 minus, this is an approximate value, okay, 31.18. It will give us 15.94 approximately units squared, okay, 15.94 units squared. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video.